Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update on how I'm doing after my skin removal surgery number five, liposuction on my legs. surgery we pretty much just did liposuction there was no skin removal involved it was just liposuction to help take some of the weight off of my legs um, when I was over 500 pounds I carried a lot of that weight in my legs so when I lost weight it left a lot of loose skin but it's still they were just very big and heavy and bulky um, so my surgeon Dr. Beck decided it would be best before we just did like some liposuction and skin removal to just do liposuction. So that's what we did and I had that in January. So we're about at the six month mark from surgery. So that's why I kind of wanted to come on here and update you guys as to what's happening, how I'm healing, how I'm recovering and what's next for me because I still have a few different surgeries, probably at least three um, skin removal surgeries that I still need to have. So I know I've posted a lot of pictures on Instagram. A lot of people were asking, like, what's wrong with your legs? Why do they still look big? Why are they, whatever's going on with them? And so that's what I wanted to address. I didn't have the skin removed. We just debulked some of the weight on the legs. And we actually took off probably around 20 pounds just off my legs during the surgery. So it was a very, very big surgery. It wasn't just a simple little liposuction procedure. And any surgery is not a simple procedure. It's still surgery, but because of the volume and the amount that was taken off my legs, it made it a pretty big surgery. So I had about 10 incisions per leg, um, going from like the top of my thigh all the way down to my ankles. Um, and they're probably like half an inch um, wide each incision, but there are about 10 incisions on each leg, so 20 total. Like I said, a lot of weight was taken off. It was a very long procedure and it was, recovery was rough for me during this one. Um, I don't know if it was just because of the amount that was taken off, if it's because my body is kind of healing a little bit slower because I've had four other surgeries before this one. Um, I just think my body's been through so much losing weight and now going through these surgeries that it's just taken a long time to heal and I feel like in the beginning that was kind of rough for me to you know realize and accept that but as I'm going down I'm really just trying to be patient with my body loving my body and trusting the whole process because it is a whole process um, so I can be upset that it's taking this long or I can just tell myself you know what it's taking this long and we're gonna do whatever we need to and just take it day by day and do what's best for me and continue on with my life which is what I'm trying to do so I did want to let you guys know that if you didn't watch my body shaming video or where I went to the doctor and she told me to lose weight video, I'll have that link down below. But I did go to my doctor because after surgery I was feeling very swollen, very puffy. Um, and I feel like right after surgery it was fine. Like instantly the weight on the scale like went down 20 pounds, which is crazy. But then all of a sudden the weight kept creeping back up. Um, and I know my food was on point. I wasn't really working out at this point, but I knew the rapid weight that I was gaining wasn't right. It, there was something else going on with my body. Um, and my surgeon told me I'm holding on to a lot of fluid. I went to my doctor. That was a whole nother story. You can watch that video down below if you want. But finally, the, my doctor put me on a diuretic, like a water pill, to kind of help flush all of the fluid out of my body. And so I took the pill. And in about two to three weeks, I instantly dropped like 10 pounds. Now, I'm not telling you this to try to have you, if you want to lose weight, to try to take pills or water pills. To, that's not what I'm telling you at all. It's just I went on this, and I'm telling you what happened and how it's helping and what I'm doing. So don't think you can go on this pill and you'll instantly drop weight. So disclaimer for that. Um, but then it kind of was you know, I wasn't noticing a difference. I wasn't going to the bathroom as frequently as they wanted me to. Um, and I already drink about a gallon of water per day. And with taking the one pill, I wasn't noticing any big difference in that. And then I went and saw a checkup with my surgeon. 
and he was very pleased with how my body was letting go of the excess fluid, but he was not as pleased with how much I still had. So he recommended I went, go on two pills. I went to my doctor, she agreed, they put me on two pills, and no joke, I've been doing it for like two weeks. I'm sweating like I've never sweated before. Like it's dripping off my body, um, which is what should be happening when you're holding on to this much fluid. So I've only been on the two pills for about, I think it's been two weeks right now, and I'm noticing a huge difference already. Um, so that's kind of what's happening. My body's just holding on to a lot of fluid, and we're just trying to get it out. I'm drinking a lot more water, really being dialed in with what I'm eating. Like I'm actually going back to writing it all out and planning my menus just to make sure I'm very strict with my food to kind of help. Um, you know, and it's not for, oh, I'm trying to lose this much weight or this. I'm not focusing on the number on the scale. I'm not focusing on anything like that. I'm really just trying to do what's best for my body and get this fluid out. And for me, that's exactly being strict on my diet again, tracking my food, working out, you know, as much as possible or what I can to kind of help because that's how it comes out is going to the bathroom and sweating. So that's kind of an update. Um, it's getting much better, but there's still a lot of work to be done with the swelling and the fluid retention. Also, I had another lymphatic massage. I wish I could have them every day because they help me so much. I have a blog post talking all about it. If you want to go check it out, I'll leave that for you guys as well. But pretty much it's just a massage to help get like the fluid out and get things moving. And you know, the the guy I use, he pretty much said, I'm holding on to a lot of lactic acid in my legs. So he really worked on getting all of that out because I still have like big, like I guess there are fluid lumps in my legs and he's really pushing on them to try to release it. And it hurt so bad. And he was trying to distract me and talk to me about it, um, about other things to take my mind off it because it really hurt. And after he did it, you can see a huge difference in like my calves already. Um, so they are pretty expensive, but they're definitely worth it. So I'm hoping I can have another one, maybe in a week or two or a few weeks, um, just to have that kind of keep helping. So I'm trying to stretch a lot more, drink a lot of water, taking my two pills, and I'm also wearing compression. Now I know I get this question all the time. I wear compression sleeves on my arms and I'm trying to wear those all the time when I work out, when I'm not working out just to kind of help the fluid because I'm finding that the fluid is sitting in the areas where I haven't had skin removal yet. So like the lower part of my arms or my legs, like where there's loose skin, it's settling in those or like my face because I haven't done anything to my face. It's making my face, my chest kind of puffy. So um, I'm gonna keep wearing the compression on my legs. I have the medical grade compression leggings that I have from after surgery. So I'm gonna wear those as much as possible. Um, and I found that wearing the sleeves, because everything's so swollen, they kind of end at my arm right here. And then everything from here up was really getting puffy because it cut off right here. So I was looking for a full compression shirt and I found a few different ones. I wasn't too happy with them. I didn't feel like they were as tight, but I finally found a really good one and I'm trying to wear it all the time, which is really hard because it's so hot. Um, but I'm trying to wear it as much as possible just to help the compression, especially when I work out, because when I wear them, I'm like drenched. I know it's kind of gross, but from sweating when I'm working out, but that's what I need. So I found the best ones. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I got these online. It's Gymshark. Now I love Gymshark. I've been a fan of theirs forever. And these are the compressions I got. They are the, let me see, the Seamless tops um and i found everywhere like they just fit so well and it's like that tight compression but it's like comfortable it's not an uncomfortable tight which i really like um and for sizing i think you need to if you really want it for like a compression you need to go down a size um and that's kind of what i found works for me when i'm working out they're really comfortable, they're breathable, and I could move in them because I found one, I don't remember, but it cut off right here. So it was really hard to like lift my arm and it was just really uncomfortable. So I tried these and I think I got them in every color because they're so good. So if you're looking for a good compression um, 
for working out or if you're recovering or if you're gonna have skin removal and you want to have that compression, I highly recommend Compression After. This is definitely a brand to check out and you wanna have it tight. So make sure you go down a size or, yeah, because that's what you need. So I love these, they fit perfect. I'll leave them down below if you wanna check them out. I'll also leave the arm sleeves that I wear um, if you're just looking for a good arm sleeve compression, those work really well. Um, but like I said, because I'm swollen all over, where it was cutting off just wasn't working. So I had to get a full shirt. So I'll link both of those down below if you guys want to check it out. So that's kind of medically kind of what's going on. So I'm still going to watch, still going to do that. Um, and back to the gym. I work out six days a week. I do boxing Monday Tuesday Wednesday so I get two workouts in Monday Tuesday Wednesday Saturday is my normal I go to the gym and then Sunday I do my personal training with my trainer Bo and today he was just really checking my strength how strong I'm getting how I'm improving and doing different things to see how my body's progressing and it's going really well I'm really happy because I started off with no weights and now we were doing some 12 pound weights today which was hard for me but I got it done and he was there to help me and he's just really proud of the progress I'm making in like getting all of my strength back. Um, so that's really exciting. I can see like my biceps, my triceps, my quad muscles, I think that's what he called them, are starting to like pop out in my legs, my calf muscles. Um, so everything is going in the right direction in terms of my strength, um, my endurance, my mobility, like everything is going really well with that. So I'm really happy with myself. And at the gym base camp that I go to Monday through Saturday, I actually hit six miles on the bike during one class. So I have a video all about that if you wanna watch that, but that was a huge goal of mine um, and I hit it. So everything is really going well in that department. I still have to watch because my legs are still really heavy um, because of the loose skin, but everything's starting to get stronger, which it's really good to see with all the skin removed I can actually start seeing my body and the progress that it's making. So I've really been working out a lot, really tracking my food, really wearing compressions and just being patient and loving and kind to myself instead of being frustrated. And I think all of that combined is really just helping my body. So we don't have a set date for the next surgery yet. I still need a breast lift. We still need to finish some stuff on my back and then the skin removal on my legs. So there's still quite a few things to do. Oh, and we might do this part of my arm because um, there's a lot of loose skin here. But there's a lot of work still to be done, but I'm very happy and blessed and fortunate for where I am now and the progress that I'm making. So with all of that being said, my mom was so sweet. We were at the mall and she's seen how hard I've been working, how much progress I'm making and she bought me the pair of shoes I've been wanting forever. So I had to show them to you guys. I'm gonna start wearing them every day. But along my journey, I used to treat myself to different items that were non-food related when I hit different goals. So it was so special to me that my mom's just seen how hard I've been working these past few months and that she wanted to reward me or treat me to a little treat just to keep me going. And I love getting new workout shoes, workout clothes. It's like my obsession, my addiction right now. Um, so I had to show you these, they're by Adidas. They are so cute and they are so comfortable. So I loved this blue color, it's different for me, this blue, but like the little pop of like the light pink. They're just adorable. I was so happy that I finally got these. I've been eyeing them for a while. So I wanted to show you guys because I'm going to be wearing them a lot. So if you guys are looking for a new treat, these are a good one. So I'll link these down below for you as well if you want to be shoe twins. So I think that's everything um, as far as update, how everything's going. Um, I just want to thank you all for all of your kind words, your love, support, how much you motivate me, keep me going. I had so many messages from you guys sending me places to get compression when I was looking for it and I cannot tell you how happy that made me that you guys just support me as much as you do um so really I do truly appreciate it and thank you guys so much and if there's anything else that I can help you guys with or share with you or you have questions please let me know down below in the comments 
And like always, please make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I know a lot of people are talking about they don't get notifications when my videos are up or they never know when they're up. So make sure you hit the little bell. That way you'll get notified when I post a new video. I'm trying to do much better in posting videos. So make sure you hit the bell as well so you're notified. And if you have any video suggestions, questions, concerns, comments, anything like that, please leave them down below. And I'll make sure to make a video, a blog post, whatever um, on that as well. So make sure you're following my Instagram so you can see my outfits, how I'm going to style these little cuties. Um, and thank you guys so much for everything you do. Love you all so much. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Toodles. -bye. Bye -bye.